Hi, this is Pete in Ackworth, Georgia, and today we're going to uh, harvest some seeds from the fish pepper plants that we've been growing. Uh, these are some uh, normally variegated green peppers that they grow up in Chesapeake Bay, and uh, they put them in fish, white fish sauces because they don't color it. And they're pretty hot. They're about 75,000 on the Scoville scale, so we're going to be real careful doing it. But we save these seeds every year, and uh, this is how we do it. We just wanted to show you also uh, before we close this out uh, the, what the picture of the plant looks like, a variegated plant. So here is the actual fish pepper when it's on there before it turns red. And you can see the leaves have a very kind of ornamental look to them. So they change their colors really easily. But uh, this is the size of the plants. They're pretty big. So here we go. We've got a bunch of different ones on here. And they go to different stages as well as they're growing. Um, you can see a little of the variegation in that one. Um, the big thing is the variegated leaves here and you see the variegation in that pepper right there see the white so, it's a very interesting plant to grow well, first up we're going to put on some rubber gloves because these things are about 75,000 on the uh, Scoville scale which is pretty hot stuff and then whatever you do don't wipe your eyes when you're doing this or any parts of your body that you don't want to get stung because it's hot stuff so i've already already started um these are ones that have already been uh seeded we can use those for later and then these are some of the seeds we're pulling out and these are ones we are seeding so as you can see they're pretty big peppers they uh they're real big this year so we're going to start out by i split them in half and now i'm going to just sit here and Carefully scoop out the peppers, uh, the seeds. You can do this with any of the peppers, but I always, we always save our seeds. In the long run, it pays off. Some of these you just can't get the seeds for anymore. Save that for later. Um, I like to make them go red, uh, just to make sure that they're, you know, the seeds are viable, and they are pretty viable. First year we did it, it was very um sketchy very sketchy on the, the seeds and the peppers that we got but this year has been uh you know this is like the third year on the same seeds and uh seems to be a lot better uh it's been a bonus crop for them plus we've grown them in some uh, uh the growing medium we've used has been uh, kellogg um raised bed soil with they started carrying home depot here in georgia and it has been really, everything we've grown in there has just been fantastic. Uh, so I think we're gonna go with that in the future on anything we, we start out, any new beds, because we grow these in beds in the backyard. Got some more going here. And once we get done with these, we're gonna set them just in a, actually we set them on top of our toaster oven <laughs> in the corner and uh, it just gives them plenty of time to dry out and uh, we don't put them in a dehydrator or anything but every seed is valuable because these things are you know two or three bucks for a pack of ten of them so it definitely pays to save and also it's, a, it's an heirloom very rare uh, that is uh, you know very hard to find it's kind of making a resurgence it's up from the Chesapeake Bay area and they use them when they're green and they're kind of variegated plants and they use them when they're green in fish sauces because it doesn't it won't uh, color the sauce at all I guess it's good I've never had it but uh, I guess they like them so I'll do one more Great. empty good for use elsewhere I'd be dry them sometimes what we're gonna probably so here you have you know that's probably twenty dollars worth of seeds right there but then we're gonna dry them out and we'll be uh ready for next year um anyway this is any you can do anything any i recommend saving all your seeds and uh we'll let uh, we'll uh, talk to you in the next video